Last month, San Onyasi visited the Seattle Biomedical Research Institute. The 21-year-old Sounders FC midfielder toured the facility and learned about advancements being made to fight malaria, a deadly disease that struck Niasi just five years ago. At 16 years old, Niasi contracted malaria for a second time in his life, keeping him temporarily from his dream of playing soccer. The first time he was stricken, he recovered well. However, because of some complications with his medications, the second case was much different and nearly proved fatal. Yeah, the first time I had it, it was, you know, it was bad though, but the second time was the worst one that I thought I couldn't, I wouldn't have survived if not um, the help of the doctors in Africa, and uh, it was really bad. According to the Center for Disease Control, malaria kills over one million people worldwide each year. 89% of those deaths occur in Africa, resulting in more deaths than any other infectious disease except for HIV and AIDS. It's risky though to live in an area that is not malaria free like Africa, um, but I think some people um, are taking some good measures to prevent malaria like to have their bed nets dipped into that chemical that kills um, the mosquitoes but there are some people that are living in a bad condition that can't afford you know doing that so it's really risky but you know this organization that is helping you know people in Africa is really good they are saving a lot of lives in Africa as fate would have it, Niasi would survive the outbreak and would go on to play soccer for the Seattle Sounders FC, right in the backyard of one of the world leaders in malaria research. Dr. Stefan Kappa of the Seattle Biomedical Research Institute explained to Niasi some of the advancements being made in the medications being used to treat malaria. However, the parasites have developed a resistance to some of those medications, so Kappa is working to develop vaccines to fight malaria. Niasi hopes to one day bring that vaccine with him to his native Gambia. I will feel like um, the most happiest person in the world, you know, going through that, you know, suffocation in Africa that people are facing right now. You know, I'm now going back to those same people, you know, to help them with a group of scientists from the United States. That would be great. Niasi and the Sounders FC are also working with the Nothing But Nets program to help prevent malaria. For every $10 donated, a child in Africa will be given a bed net to keep the disease-carrying mosquitoes at bay. A $30 donation through SoundersFC.com will get you a Drew Carey bobblehead. So donate and do your part in helping prevent this deadly disease.